MC Toys, Power Team Elite, World Peacekeeper, Tunnel Hunter, Quick Review. This is going to be my quick review of this World Peacekeeper set. These have been out for a while, so I'm not going to go too into depth. I'm just going to share what I like about them, and some things I don't like about them. I got this at Big Lots in Hillsboro for $15. Not bad purchase for $15 getting a fully articulated figure. I've always liked the box art in the War Peacekeeper series. I have this guy in the brown shirt. And now I have the one in the black shirt, although he didn't come with a belt, which is kind of odd. The toy photography they do on these are wonderful. Very realistic. Let's get him open and check him out. So here he is out of the box. I really like this head sculpt. The thing I've always liked about Power Team is that the head sculpts are pretty mixed up, so you hardly ever get two of the same. Hasbro's G.I. Joe, anytime you'd buy a different set, it'd always be the same head sculpt. Just kind of frustrating. My wife and daughter thinks he looks kind of like McGee from NCIS. This is what I really liked about this set, is this black pullover shirt, sweatshirt, actually has a working zipper. Another thing I've always liked about the Power Team figures is the scale dog tags. Here we have the sweatshirt off of him. It's very nicely made. This even cinches up. I didn't have, I don't have a lot of these, so it was good addition to my collection. I've always liked the pants that they've, that Power Team makes, especially because of the material and the fact that they use real stamp buttons instead of Velcro. The material is really lightweight, so it appears to be real realistic on the scale of figures. So this is his equipment out of the box. I really like this bush hat. I don't have a lot of these, so it's a nice addition to my collection. It comes with the chin strap and a headband strap, which I think is pretty cool. I really wish they included a little snap so you could snap the edges up like this. That's okay. These knee pads are really nice. I like the painted details and the ribbons on the side. And the elastic is pretty tight, so they'll fit and stay on your figures really well. This MP5K is a great addition to my collection. I only have a few of these, so this is really nice. I wish they painted the top portion of the clip to make it look more realistic. That's okay. I like how they have a single point sling mount on the back of it. So the part that doesn't make sense for a tunnel hunter, a SPA-12, be something more for like a breacher and a SWAT team. I think a tunnel hunter would have something more close quarter combat, although it's a nice piece. This little walkie-talkie, I have a few of these now. And they're really neat. I actually owned one of these in a real life size. This I think is a strobe of some sort. I'm trying to focus on it, but the print is really tiny. It's pretty neat. Nice nice sculpt on it. So this is a some type of signal smoke. See the writing real small. It's hard to get the camera to focus on it. I've always liked these scopes and that they fasten onto the 
the guns. Little tabs on the edges fit over the sculpt on the gun. Although I think that's the wrong way. Probably should go this way. That looks better. It's a gas mask bag. I guess it kind of makes sense for a tunnel hunter. And this is a flashlight. I've always liked these military type flashlights. It's pretty cool. So the boots that he came with still have a lot of detail on the sole. Kind of disappointing. I'm not going to go too depth, too in depth with the articulation review, but the neck joints on these really kind of bugged me. Not a lot of range of movement. If they were going to improve one thing, I'd like to see more neck articulation and maybe some more articulation in the shoulders. <laughs> They have so many swiveling parts in the elbow and the upper arm that sometimes your figure's arm will just go way out of joint or looks odd. But for $15, it's not too bad of art of super articulation. These hands are removable, although it takes a little bit of force to remove them. You really have to pull on them. Really. As you can see, the little white peg goes into the hole, and it takes about the same amount of force to get them back on. You just have to be real careful. Overall, these are pretty stout figures. I mean, they're pretty hard to break unless you're being really violent with them. For $15, getting a super articulated figure to fill in some troops, it's not a bad deal. I always see the Power Team Elite figures as team builder type figures. This guy is going to be a great addition to my team. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hopefully you enjoyed this short review. Thanks for watching. Remember to collect, inspire, and create. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.